Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Victor, and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video. Um, so, today I have a few updates on the channel, and um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you guys about something that I received today um, from the army, because that is who I am currently employed by, and that is the organization I am a part of. That being said, any statements I say... Do not reflect those of the army or the organization I work for. Not that I'm going to be talking about anything controversial today, but that's just at all if I ever say anything. My YouTube videos do not reflect that or anything about that. That's just me being me and just having a good time and trying to do something other than get into trouble because that's pretty easy to do in the army. Um, now, with that being said, on to the actual video. So, um... For those of you who don't know, I work at a COVID vaccination clinic. Um, that is what I am assigned to do right now. I was pulled from my regular unit way back in January to do that. Um, it's been a long, damn near five months, six months, I don't know. Fuck, I don't even know how long it's been. I've been in Korea for six months because I got my orders. I'm going to Texas next, and I don't know how this whole YouTube thing is going to work out when I go to Texas. I also don't know how the whole YouTube thing is going to work out when I go back to my unit, because they work a lot more than I do currently. At least, most of the time. Um, but, <clears throat> that being said, um, let's talk about what I got today. So, for those of you who might be in the Army, and who might be watching from the Army, or were in the Army, you're going to know what an AAM is. Um, it's an Army Achievement Medal. Um... And I was presented one, me, along with a bunch of other people who were on this detail. We were presented them because we were a part of this momentous task. I mean, I'm going to be real with you. Shit, we vaccinated like well over 50,000 people. I can't give you an exact number, but it's a lot of people. And we've been at it for months. I mean, I'm fairly like old on the detail so i've been there for a hot minute but there's been some people who have been there before i even got to korea there have been some people like who've been there from the beginning and um honestly i'm pretty honored to say that i am a part of that organization and that i was selected to do this task i mean i wasn't like it wasn't like oh victor is more special than the rest that's not how it was at all it was probably they just needed people they drew my name out of a hat and they're like all right we'll send words over and here I am, five months later, getting presented with this. This is an achievement medal from the United States Army. Um, that has my commander's signature there. I probably shouldn't show it, but... Um, yeah, so the reason I got it, um, the whole thing, I'm gonna read it off to you guys. It says, Department of Army, this is to certify that... Sorry, pardon me. Okay. So it says, Department of Army. Okay, I'm going to read it off to you guys. It says, Department of the Army. This is to certify that the Secretary of the Army has awarded the Army Achievement Medal to Specialist Victor J. Wirtz, 125th Medical Detachment, 121st Field Hospital. Alright, that's the organization that I was belonging to while on this detail. Um, it's the reason being for exceptional meritorious achievement while serving as a healthcare specialist in support of COVID-19 vaccination operation for the 121 hospital. I am not a healthcare worker. I'm not a medic. That is not my job. Um, I work on computers. But it was kind of a broad statement that they gave us. Um, so, Specialist Wurtz's expertise, um, mainly in computers, is what I led the way in. Um... Every time they needed a computer problem, they'd come to me. Um, leadership and support were pivotal to the overall success of the unit's mission. His dedication to duty and professionalism are in keeping with the finest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself. The 121st Field Hospital, the 549th Hospital Center, and the 65th Medical Brigade, the 8th Army, and the United States Army, and the Republic of Korea. So, uh, I'm gonna break it down to you. So, 121 is the field hospital, so that's the company that I was, that fell, um, that this detail fell under. Um, <clears throat> the 549th was, like, the brigade, or the battalion, I think. And then the 65th Medical Brigade was the, um, brigade that we were a part of. So, they're, like, overarching all medical care in terms of Camp Humphreys, at least, I believe. I'm not sure, maybe, if that's peninsula-wide, but I know for a fact, all over Camp Humphreys, 
um, all medical personnel, if if you're part of the medical, like there's medics in every unit, but if you are assigned to the medical unit, you the highest you will answer to other than Eighth Army will be 65th Medical Brigade. Just like I'm 2ID, so I answer to like 2ID commander. Um, and then they answer to 8th Army, and then they answer to USFK, and then they answer, answer to Indo-Pacific Com or something like that, I don't remember. And then they answer to, like, just the Army itself, like, the Pentagon. But, um, it says from April 2021 to June 2021, the ninth day of June 2021, which is today when I got this medal. Sorry. Um, but, yeah. And then on top of that, I also got... This is a challenge coin. Sorry, I was pointing at that camera. So this is a challenge coin. Um, it's a very unique one, being that it's a coronavirus challenge coin for the COVID task force. So on the front it says, hashtag kill the virus. And then it says, OECF of COVID-19. And then on each, it has like some syringes here. You got your syringe handles and then you got your syringes. And then you got your ambulance. And then you got Korea. And then you got the COVAX, um, the Army Medical, I think, because that, that is, I'm not sure. And then you got an ambulance signifying, like, EMS. And then on it, you have ISOFAC, Tiger Teams, which were the guys that went out to other places other than Camp Humphreys, and they, um, they, um, they gave vaccines to people down in, like, Busan, I think, um, and other places. And then you got reception center, which is the um, place where we all go to to get in the army or to get in the camp home free. So if you wanted to get vaccinated at the reception center, you could do that, which that was like a 24 hour operation. And then you got the COVAX, which is what I was a part of. Um, I was never on the ISOFAC or the Tiger teams or the reception center. Um, I was always on COVAX, but that's where the bulk of the vaccines came from. People would come to the COVAX center. And at first it was at the hospital. It was at BDOC. Um, which I'm not really going to go into details about what that means. Um, if you guys really want to know, you can go look it up, I guess. And then we went to the, what we call the Kovac Center, which was just a random building that they picked. And it was called Building 2037. And what I did there was, uh, when I first got on the detail, it was like, I think my fifth day into it, they had us, or was it, I don't even know. It was like really early into my detail. And, um, they had us set up computers at the... Um, Kovac Center. Also, I'm sorry if you hear background noise. My roommate has his friends over or something like that. Um, but yeah. So, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, I just got this, and then I got a medal from the United States Army stating that I helped on the Kovacs mission. And then I should also be getting the Humanitarian Service Medal, and then the Armed Forces Response Medal or something like that. On top of the medals that I'm already going to get while in Korea. So I get the KDS and then the um, Overseas Defense Medal. So the Korean Defense Medal. And then the Overseas Defense Medal. So yeah, but that's basically what I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, just a little, hey, this is what I've been doing. This is me. I don't know why I did this actually, but I don't know. Maybe someday somebody will watch this and be like, hey, <laughs> I knew him. But yeah, so... Uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys like this video, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. All you do is do this. Have a nice day. Remember, don't do nothing that I do. So yeah, apparently, the overseer is gone. I don't know how, but apparently, I'm doing like two like, playthroughs at the same time. I'm doing one with Justin, well, and I'm doing one by myself. I can continue following the trail of the railroad tracks from here. Actually, I you know what? Maybe I can help. Maybe I can have Justin coming on this.